Hi guys, it's Alicia. It's Alicia. I decided today was going to be my first mukbang video and I also decided you guys get to meet my oldest daughter because she's home from school today sick. We were in the ER last night. It was a long night. She has a viral throat pharyngitis infection and she's been miserable but she's feeling better now and she has some of her own dental stories and situations that she's dealing with so we've been the dental club together. So this is my daughter Katie spelled K-A-Y hyphen capital D. She's my first baby. She'll be 13 in October and it's really crazy. She started her process of getting braces fourth grade. in fourth grade and since then they've put braces on, they've taken them all the way off, they've now put different appliance in her mouth. What is it called? Uh, herps. herps bar. Herps. So that's what's in there herps now. Plants. Yeah and she's, we're gonna eat some snacks and just chat but this is my daughter. She looks just like me, everyone says. You think so? Yeah. Well, we don't look exactly alike now. I but don't think I look like you. When her braces are all done, we're probably going to be like twin twinning again. Yeah. So, today, this tablet is on like 5%, or my iPad is on 5%. It might die. And the other kids are about to get off the bus. I'm starving, so we're going to eat <laughs> and chat with you guys. I got my BLT on toasted artisan bread from Tim Hortons. Looks like this. It can be a little difficult to eat. I have not eaten anything with my new teeth, so I wanted to see if I can eat my favorite sandwich. I was able to eat this with my old ones, but it definitely caused a lot of lifting and it's hard. There's lettuce and bacon and tomato in there. Um, and the bread is kind of hard. So I'm really curious to see how this is gonna go. Since we have time, these are my favorite snacks of all times. So if the maker of these ever sees this video, if you could send me like enough for life, I would promote your product for the rest of my life. <laughs> I've been able to eat these these caramel sea salt covered pretzels since the first week out of surgery because you could just break it in half, put it in your mouth, suck on it, get the flavor, and then it softens it enough to still be crunchy and salty and sweet. And they're perfect. And I have raved about them on my Snapchat so much that now my county gets dried out and people buy them all before I can. So, yeah. yeah. And we're going to have some coffee from Tim Hortons. This is a iced triple triple what are you eating for uh, your snack what do you have right you're not in the video move over that's better she's got chips yeah okay show me your chips <laughs> all right let's see first a bite are we ready oh why do we do well i'm doing mine you okay. can if you want She's been having to learn how to eat different stuff now, too, because she got that in her mouth. Bite hard things. You I can show them. My mouth probably looks dirty. That's okay. You can see those bars in her mouth? We just got those in, like, last week. So she's still adjusting. She also had a few extractions recently, right in the children's dentist office with Novocaine. I was really proud of her. One of her teeth that came out was literally like this My long. Mom, I thought I had a picture of that. She has a picture. All right, let's see if I can eat this. I'm nervous. <laughs> hmm. No, they just popped off the implant. Like the back of it. Hmm. I have a picture, but interesting. It's really I can't really bite this. Hmm. Probably like it tastes bad. No. It feels weird to eat it. It's definitely different chewing than my other ones. The Here's picture her tooth. is really bloody, so if you don't Yeah, want so to see prior that, warning, if you don't want to see a bloody tooth, then scroll a few seconds forward. Bye. Yeah. Okay. This tooth came out of her head. My head. Your head. Your mouth. <laughs> That's a big too. Yeah, this that's I have to get a surgery there because of that one. I'm gonna try to rip this in half and see. Oh, it's a little disappointing. I tried to take my first bite and I felt it click. And I felt the implant or the the back of this on the O-ring, like just like I was biting with this 
and the backs just pop down. <laughs> and my old ones weren't like that. I hope they can fix that because, yeah. I don't know. Let's try again. Hmm. It feels so weird. It looks like I just cried because I choked on my chip. Hmm. Well, so far nothing's under the lowers. Hmm. Okay, I'll back in. Our chihuahua is on the table. He's not supposed to be. Come on. After having broken my other ones three times, I am kind of worried about even just taking the wrong bite of something and snapping them. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm eating though. Progress. Mm. He fell on his back. Well, he didn't really fall. Mm. He rolled over. I'm still chewing on this side. No. The next bite, I'll try this side. I haven't chewed on this side in a month. Mm. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> well, never done this before. It's like we're on a date with somebody that we can't see. <laughs> that eyebrow looks weird. A little lunch date. See, I like to pull it apart, so then I'm getting the soft bread to bite. Because the outsides are too kind of crusty and hard. So far, my dentist wanted me to come back tomorrow um, if I get any sore spots today. So far, there is no sore spots. And he said if I don't get sore spots today, he wants me to leave the teeth in all weekend and then come back Monday for adjustments or a checkup. It was on your Facebook bio thing and I didn't know what it was. So Carpe was diem? Yeah. It means okay. seize the day. Like, seize the moment. One of my favorite I'm quotes. Looking, I'm getting the picture of what the film looks like. It's from the movie Dead Poets Society. Has anyone seen that movie? My mom got me to watch that when I was younger. I really loved it. Robin Williams was in it. It's a freaking good movie. I haven't seen it in so long. I should watch it with my kids. Okay, so this I don't remember it all the way either. That's what it's like. That's what's in her mouth right now. Yeah. It looks painful. So how long do you keep that in your mouth? Until, I don't know, they didn't tell me, until it's fixed. We have a surgery day coming up for her. You want to say what it is? No. Oh, all right. <laughs> We're going to, it's UB, right? I don't remember. It's the UB, I think, School of Medicine, I believe. Um, so they're going to, are you just getting Novocaine, right? The, what you had. Are you going to be asleep? They, Nitrous? They're gonna, they're gonna give me what you have when you woke up during the middle of it. Okay, so they're gonna put her to sleep. Like IV sedation. They have to hook a chain to one of her teeth that is. They have to cut the gums first. They have to cut through her gums. Is the tooth Here. sideways? Um, or it's just stuck, uh, impacted? I, I think it's an impacted tooth, but it's a tooth that isn't coming down by itself. So they have to hook a chain to it after they cut a through her gums. Chain. A gold chain. They don't know why it's gold either. We they don't know why it's gold. They just said it's gold. Then they're gonna hook that chain to that to her braces. Yeah, they're putting braces back on. Wait, no, it's not. They're putting it on this. Yeah, you need to explain it, cause okay, this thingy is connected to the herb supply. It's this thing, and then they hook it to that. They're gonna hook the chain to that. Yeah. And then what do they do with the chain? Um, every time I go to see them, they're gonna um. I think he said he he cuts part of it off and then rehooks it 
and then it just gets pulled down over time. Oh, it pulls the tooth down over time. Are they going to yeah. pull it out, or is it just pulling it down into place? They're pulling it down into place. So they need that tooth to come down, I guess. Yeah, because my long tooth was an extra tooth, and it was inside the base. That long one that came out? Yeah. That's my shark tooth. Yeah. That was a crazy... I couldn't believe she sat there with just nitrous and let them pull those teeth. Because I didn't feel it. I was more nervous and scared than her. I was, but I was really trying not to be like during it because I didn't... Because when they took out the back teeth back here, it didn't take that long. Then when they were doing this one, they like, I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't know it was didn't that long. didn't feel it? And you couldn't tell it was that long when it came out? No, I just thought it was, like, stuck, so they were still pulling it. And I got confused, and I didn't find out till after the thing, after they pulled it, that they gave me a shot to numb it, because I didn't see it. My eyes were closed. Mm. And they gave me, like, not gave me, they put, like, this, like, numbing gel on like back up here and then since my eyes were closed I couldn't see what was happening all I felt was a pinch and I thought he was pinching my gums mm -hmm. but it was actually a shot so I was like Wait. so it wasn't bad though no yeah she did I was awesome. just confused I have a lot of anxiety with the dentist so yeah, and I never had to get an extraction as a child or even a filling I didn't have a single cavity until I was past the age of 18 years old how crazy is that I'm 34 now with full dentures Oh, yeah, they also might pull out my wisdom teeth. Yeah, that kind of Because they sucks. said um, if they get in the way, um, only in, like, a rare case, if they're in the way so bad they can't do anything without removing them, then they're, they might have to um, remove them. Yeah. Well, hopefully hopefully that will not be right away. That would be nice. Um, <clears throat> we'll eat these pretzels. I will. This is what they are. Caramel and sea salt. Some of them are saltier than others. The good ones are the ones where you can see all the pieces of salt on them. Like, well, we're about done anyways. Yeah, the bus is almost here with the other kids. They might be here now, but these are my favorite pretzels. Don't mind my pinky nail. I snagged it. This was already a broke, it already kind of broke before my last fill. And they put a new tip on it, like, where it had broken so it's not really as strong as a regular nail would be and I snagged it and it lifted up one side with my real nail and lifted and bled and now I put it in a cast so <laughs> it doesn't really hurt too bad but it sucks your blood test the other day yeah I recorded it she recorded her blood test I'm not gonna last show night it because... mm, well she has her mother's know. daughter I like to tape everything. Yeah, I like taking pictures. I send paragraphs so much. I'm eating these pretzels now, though. I hate those pretzels. I love them. I hate them. They're so good. What time is it? Four o'clock. It's four o'clock. All right. To find the well, the kids' bus is about to be here, and they usually need a little time to calm down and wind down. They don't know that we're filming in here. So we're probably going to hop off before they run in, yeah. because usually they'll be screaming. There's just a lot of chaos. They'll, they'll run in and they'll be like, Amzie pushed me. Mm -hmm. Marilyn smacked me. Yeah. I mean, some days they're happy after school. Usually they got to go potty really quick. Then we only have one potty, so. This is my paragraph. There can be some arguing about that. <laughs> I set this whole paragraph, and my text is all the way at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Like, normally people have theirs up here. Yes, yeah, so you have different and phone then settings. All the way down. She's no, very you're... particular about the brightness on her phone. Yeah. She doesn't like brightness on the phone turned up too no, high. No, because it hurts my eyes and then I'll get a headache. Yeah. So is there anything you can't eat now with your herbs appliance? Um, I can't bite into things like apples and then chew them. So I wasn't allowed to do that with braces anyways. And I basically can't have gummies mm -hmm. and I can't have hard like chew hard things. Yeah. But, like, um, when I had braces, I wasn't allowed to um, do that. Mm -hmm. So, basically, I've never, I haven't had a gummy bear since before fourth grade. I don't think I have either. Oopsie. Well, oh, what was I going to say? I thought there was something else I was remembering. No, I forgot. Hmm. Well, so far, my first meal with these new teeth went okay. I definitely noticed the back... The upper backs lifted, and I don't like that because my old ones, when I used to bite stuff with the front of my teeth, like how you normally just bite into something, 
when I would do that with the lowers, it would cause the, the backs of them to lift, and that's how food would get under there. So when I first took a bite of this, I felt that happen on the uppers. I was biting with them, and both sides lifted. I don't like that. I found it. So I really hope that's not, I don't know, hopefully they can fix that and improve it, because I would obviously hope that they're going to be as secure as my original ones were, even though they feel really secure in my mouth, and I don't even have a lisp anymore that I just had this morning. So... They seem like they fit really well. Maybe the O-rings aren't tight enough. I'm not sure. Oh. All right. One more thing about this girl <laughs> that you don't know. A lot of things. It was the actually. time that she stepped on a removable ink cartridge from a McDonald's toy <laughs> pen. And we had to go to the ER because it went into her foot. Blunt side first, all the, the way to the, the bone. Side. They it had almost... to give her ketamine in the ER. Yeah. So I she was pretty that. much like hallucinating oh, with her eyes open and looking at us, but not I remember seeing us. What I remember that um, was a trap. Basically, when like I fell asleep, um, I remember I was like I had like a dream thing where I was laying in the bed and the wall behind me was curtains and they were like rushing me somewhere and then I woke up hmm. and it was like twelve or something. But we had to go to the emergency room, number one, because it's not normal to get a pen in your foot. No. And it wouldn't come out. And yeah. Here's the picture. So it, if you don't want to see it. It's not really the flat side. It's like from the side, so you can't see it. It looks really like it. a nail. That's how it looks. See, that's We have x-rays side. of it, too. I can grab them. They're in here. <laughs> All right. If the other kids happen to be running up here, I'll let them say hi. So, Katie. Oh, hello, Conrad. Hello. <laughs> He's looking at me like, what? Wait, oh, oh. Excuse you. Come on. Come on, Connie. You want to say hi? Here's Conrad. This is Katie's boy, yeah. Conrad. We call him Connie or Chicon. He's a good boy. So, Actually, Katie. Know where they are. Katie will be 13 in October, and she is in seventh grade. And then I have Imagine Nevaeh. I know. Nevaeh is 10. She'll be 11 in January, and she's in fifth grade. And then I have Marilyn. She's born. She'll be seven in March, and she's in first grade. And then I have Amzi, who will be five in November, and she's in <laughs> kindergarten. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but I it's hard to remember where my baby is because they grow so fast, and her and Marilyn are just one, one year apart. They could have almost went to school in the same grade together because they're less than two years apart. But I think it's good for my older one to be a grade above her baby sister, you know. Yes, that's cute. <laughs> there are pictures on the I'm not showing them. She told me to delete them. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know where the kids are. They should be walking up any minute. I was going to introduce you guys to them. <laughs> nice. Very nice. I have the video of it. That's funny. Oh, there they are. I hear them. The kids are coming. Ready? You want to go tell them first? Oh, to come in and be, what? um, no. just to come in and say hi to the video. <laughs> okay, well, my kids are home from school now, and we're about done with our snack, and I think all my devices are getting full, except, hold on. You want to say hi to my video, and then I want to introduce you guys to my channel. You want to say hi, Marilyn? Mm. Nevea. This is my Nevea Rain. She's in fifth grade. Marilyn. Marilyn is my first grader. Wanna say hi? This is Marilyn. Mm -hmm. Baby girl. How was your day? Good. Was good? Good. And my baby Amzie is over there. Say hi, Am. Amzie. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. The chaos has returned, and I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. Have a good night.